Beep boop, I'm here to tell you that you should support the creators by buying and playing the game. Thanks. Heart emoticon. So I just want to talk about this break in business. Don't worry about it. I already checked it for you. You can get at least 12 bags. I got the front door key. Anything else? Be sure to make a map. That place is huge. Hey y'all, Taz here. So for this Halloween season, I thought I might give the game reviewing scene a try, and if this ever gets popular, uh, please note I'm not making this type of content anytime soon, so please leave if you're only here for this type of stuff. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a childhood game of mine called Eyes, the horror game. Is a, well, horror game made by Paulina Pabis. Pabes? Pablo. For the PC and mobile, in which you have to get money bags and escape the mansion while avoiding this THING trying to get you. Now keep in mind that I am playing the Game Jewel version of the game, which is the only version you can play on the PC, and the more recent updates are available on your phone, mobile, <laughs> Switch, and other stuff. Now without further ado, let's get into my opinions that nobody asked about. Now the game doesn't really have a story in the game Joel version, but in the newer versions uh, it does have a story where you're basically a thief who works with a friend and you both find a house and you rob it. And the rest of the story is what you do in the game. There's also objects that you can interact with in the newer versions and they unlock a bit of lore. As well as when you use the eyes and the creatures start talking to you. Speaking of the eyes. Flawless transition, I know. Anyway, the game has a few mechanics that are necessary for it to be a horror game, of course. You've got your sprint, walking, and the eyes you can find around the house. And the use for these eyes is that they allow you to see what the entity sees, so that you can know when to move or not. But in my opinion, I don't think you need the eyes that much, because if the entity is on the same floor you're in, then the whole house just shakes like if it's in a Scooby-Doo movie and has seen a ghost. There's also a map that you can unlock more of the more you explore the house. And to be honest, <laughs> it looks like a map I would draw if I were in the situation. And you don't need to use the E key on your keyboard to open doors. You simply just push them with your whole body, like if they were designed for drunk people. The house itself has three floors with a bunch of rooms, but I'll highlight some of the weirder ones right now. The spiral staircase room. A hallway with a white safe, and next to it is a room with a shaky, shaky bottle, bottle that is dancing to this music. In a summoning room with a boarded up door, there's also a basement that's full of rats the size of fucking Tim's, and a locked up room that's supposedly someone, uh did the deed in. And there's free money! I can't believe how I went on about the game being spooky and the maps being ooh very spooky and haven't even talked about the THING that's trying to get you in the first place. Apparently their name is Crazy. 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 What the fuck? It's a nocturnal female spirit that originated in the Southeast Asia. But there's also two more monsters that can be found in the latest versions of the game. These are Good Boy and Charlie. Ow! Ow, Charlie! Ow! Good Boy is a Unity asset dog that you have to distract with me that's scattered around the building you're in. Or else they will treat you like a small child and bite your fucking face off. Charlie's a spooky Ooh, ghost goes. who can teleport between badly taken selfies of himself and try to cut you off while humming. Crazy. Huh. And Crazy is a main monster who originally looked like a. Ah! Run! Holy balls! Oh! Oh, hello, baby! <laughs> what was that? And stuck around the house como la llorona. But instead of crying about her dead children, she's crying about her money bags being stolen.
final thoughts. Well, I don't really have any, but I do love the game because of the memories it gave me as a small human. And I really think it has a lot of neat stuff, and these are just my opinions anyways. But please, 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 Dubs, port it to Steam, please. Hey, nicely done, man. Congrats. Why don't you answer my calls? I... I don't want to talk about it. Not now. Sorry. What? I feel like... There was something in the house. It's... It's coming for me. I can hear it. It's here. Mm -hmm.